Hey everyone, welcome to Surface and I want to also welcome you to our SEMrush series where we have been doing um, a lot of reviews and tutorials about the different tools that they offer. And today won't be any different as we'll be going over a specific tool or feature or yeah, let's consider this a tool because it says on the term itself that it's a keyword magic tool. So let's go ahead and check that. Um, also, before we go ahead and do that though, I um, just want to give you guys an idea of how a project's dashboard would look like if you have already signed up for an account with SEMrush. So this is what a project dashboard's, dashboard looks like. As you can see, I already have an ongoing project right here, but I've yet to set up all of these um, widgets right here. So let's uh, still just go over to a specific tool that we're going to discuss today, which is the Keyword Magic tool. So upon clicking on that, um, it's going to lead me to another page where the tool is located or where the tool um, displays the results. So here we have the Keyword Magic tool displayed and ready to be used. Um, so basically, Keyword Magic Tool is an, ex is an extension of the Keyword Overview Tool. So all we need to do is enter a keyword and it will analyze the keyword for us. So just to give you an overview of what this tool is all about, so you could just enter a topic and you can get your list of best keywords that will work best for you. So you get all of these metrics as well. Later on, we'll see it. Um, first hand and you can also work with topical groups and then here you um, get such metrics as uh, like the keyword volume keyword difficulty um, and that's something that we have seen on the previous tool which is keyword overview if you haven't seen those yet or if you haven't seen that specific video yet, then definitely um, head on over to our playlist for SEMrush. I'm going to um, link or put a link of the playlist on the description box below. Uh, so these two you can absolutely find in the keyword overview tool. And this one is, or, or as I have mentioned, keyword magic tool is an extension of keyword overview. So it just um, makes a lot of sense of that they... Uh, correlate to each other and the next one that we will be doing which is keyword manager is also another extension of keyword overview but um, we'll go uh, uh, we'll go talk about that on the next video so yeah that's basically it um, it's just gonna analyze the keyword for you and make suggestions so that you can have a better approach to your SEO tactics so I'm just gonna enter a keyword I'm using the previous um, keyword that I've also used for the keyword overview tool and you can change the location here target location and then hit search all right so we have our results right here we use the keyword fast private jet and if you want to change the location or your target target country database you can just take this down and choose from the list of countries available here um, there are different tabs as you can see but this is just so you can filter or you can have a better um, options when it comes to the results it's just gonna narrow down the results for you so that you will be able to view it, view it better or have a more in-depth understanding of um, the results that you're looking for. So here, let's just quickly go over this table right here. So um, for the, for that specific keyword that we used, it is it is displaying all keywords, which is 109, with a total volume of 2,600, and average keyword difficulty of 30%. So um, here you can see the keyword. Um, being utilized fast private jet and then for intent it is a purpose of a search in a search engine so is it commercial is it informational um, things like that so this specific one is informational so 
mostly the people who are searching for this keyword is looking to find an answer to a specific question that they have. And then here we have the volume or the average number of monthly searches for a given keyword over a 12-month period. So um, these are the results for that specific metric. And then here we see the trend. There, there are graphs, uh, mini graphs over here that will allow you to see the trends as they change from time to time. And then the keyword difficulty percentage here. Um, so it tells you how hard it would be for a specific page to rank with that specific keyword that you're using. So you can see here it tells you it's possible. You will need well-structured and unique content to be able to um, rank in the SERP. So that's what you need to do. If it's um, green, then it'll be easy. So you just need quality content focused on the keyword's intent. So you see, it's all already giving suggestions on how you can actually approach the content that you're going to do to make these keywords or to make your website rank in the SERP. Um, so that's pretty much the use for that. Um, here you have cost per click or the average price in USD advertise or average price in USD advertisers pay for a user's click on an ad. That's that. And then competitive density, level of competition. Um, SERP features, uh, you can explore more about the SERP features right here, but it's basically any results on the Google search engine results page that is not traditional organic result. And then here, as for the total results, the number of URLs displayed in organic search um, results for, for the given keyword. So that's it for this table right here. It displays, I think, around 10. 10, three. yeah, I think 10 keywords for this, but you can basically expand that and get all of the 109 keywords that are available. And then here you get um, the keywords or how it's being used or the number. You can, you can filter it by number or by volume, and then you can expand it. Um, so these are the repetitive or the repeating words that are being used or being searched for. So just click on by volume. You can you can you can change that. And then here are some other filters that you can make use of to narrow down the results that you want. Um, questions. It's just gonna um, suggest you a list of question-based keywords. And then if it's a broad match, is it like um on a wider scale or do you want something exact which is what you're gonna get if you click on this exact match and then phrase match so it's just gonna give you something that's within the phrase and then related um, for this one you're gonna get the exact keyword per se but you're just gonna get something that is um, that is um, related to the keyword that you want to use. So that is basically it for the keyword magic tool. I hope you found this um, very short tutorial useful and that you guys will be tuning in to our next videos that we'll be making. Still all about SEMrush and the tools that I offer. And until then, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.